discrete probability distributions or discrete random variables. Why do we need them? Well, if you are in the business of losing money in games of luck, then you absolutely need them. Think about the dice. We talked about dice, okay? You know the probability if you roll a dice to get a four is one over six. The probability to get a two is one over six. Where do these probability probabilities come from? They come from the fact that you know that this is a dice and perhaps you know that it's a fair dice. Okay, or think about a game of cards. You know? What's the probability if you have a deck of cards without any jokers that if you randomly draw a card that you get a heart? Well, it's one over four because there are only four suits of cards uh, in here. So these are all systems where if we know where the randomness comes from, from drawing from a deck of cards, that physical system describes what the probabilities are. But here we will be talking about also discrete random variables, but situations where we don't know the probability from the setup. So what am I thinking of here? Let's say, think about the question, have you been a victim of crime over the last year? Yes or no? One or zero? Two outcomes, discrete number of outcomes. Or you could be asking slightly differently, how many crimes have you been a victim of over the last year? year. Zero, one, two, three, still discrete outcomes. But we don't know the probabilities for them from any physical system. Or think about a different problem. Say you're concerned about meeting people who are not vaccinated uh, against COVID and you want to go on the train. You may be worried about, oh, how many people do I meet and how long does it take? How many people do I need to meet until I meet one person who is not vaccinated? One, two, three, four, five people. What's the probability that the first four people I meet are all vaccinated? Again, discrete outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, and so forth. And we don't know the probabilities for that. Or think about the case that you work for the European Space Agency. You are sending rockets into space with very, very expensive satellites. You're very worried about the rocket not making it to space and the launch failing. So you, you are supremely interested in the probability that the next launch or perhaps the next three launches work without accident. Again, how long does it take for the, until I get the next accident? One, two, three, four, four, five launches. What's the probability that in the next five launches no accident happens? These sorts of probabilities, discrete probabilities and not a physical system that tells us what the outcome what, what these probabilities are. Or lastly, closer to home, how many multiple choice questions do you have to guess until you should expect to get one right? Now, of course, by the end of this course, you will not be in this situation that you have to guess. You will be all over this and you will get the right answers, hopefully with certainty probability one. But hopefully, this makes you understand that in the real world there are very many problems that are probabilistic. There's randomness in the outcome, but the outcome is restricted to a number of discrete outcomes. But how do we get probabilities for these? Well, you will not know them. We will sort of have to estimate. But what we're going to do in this section is we think about certain probability distributions that will help us appropriately chosen to assign probabilities, sensible probabilities to any su to such events. Okay, The type of distributions we're going to look at are Bernoulli distributions, binomial distribution, geometric distribution and Poisson distribution. All the details in the lesson.